am I allowed to use AI artwork in my print on demand designs? The answer to this question is not simply yes or no, but it's somewhere in between. There's sort of two sides to it. The first one being, do the print on demand marketplaces actually allow AI artwork? The second one is whether we are allowed to use this artwork commercially depending on which tool we're using, because some of the AI tools might not allow it, some do. So essentially, that's the two areas that I researched. And the first step was just emailing print on demand marketplaces and asking them the question, are we allowed to sell AI artwork on your marketplace? And the first one that I emailed is Amazon or Merch by Amazon, I should say. To no surprise, I did not get a response, not a proper response at least. I just got a templated one that I've read a thousand times before and I'm sure you probably have. And it says, we understand that you would like us to review your design, which I don't. We appreciate your interest in keeping your account in good standing with our policies. That said, we're not unable to proactively approve designs, which I understand, content or keywords prior to submission or provide direct guidance on policy. And then for the reference, they've just linked their FAQs and their content policy at the bottom right here for me to, to look into myself. So essentially Amazon does not give you an answer. They're just saying if you adhere to our rules, to our content policy, then you can, can upload designs. They're not pointing out AI artwork specifically. Specifically. I did have a look through the content policy again and through the FAQs to see if maybe they've updated something or if something new has been added in terms of AI artwork and it hasn't. So it doesn't say in there that it's not allowed and the content policy obviously tells you a lot of things that you're not meant to do. So as long as you're not infringing on trademarks or copyrights and you're not violating the terms in the manner of like you're not promoting violence, that sort of stuff, as long as you follow the content policy, then in my opinion for Amazon, you can use AI artwork. You have to have a commercial license license to the AI designs, but that's what we're going to get into in the later part of this video. So the next marketplace you might be interested in is Redbubble, and I did send them a quick message on Facebook. That's just a tip here as well, in case you ever want to get a hold of a company and you're struggling to get them via email, then just send them a message on Facebook if they've got a page, because sometimes you get a quicker response on there. Now, I did get a very quick response here, but this person did not respond to my actual question. She just said, of course you can join the community of independent artists in Redbubble and she sort of introduced me to the marketplace didn't say anything to do with AI artwork which was my initial question and she linked obviously like the content policy and that sort of stuff which I did have a look into once again I found nothing regarding AI artwork and nothing saying that we're not allowed to use it and I, I did also send her another um, another question uh, saying I couldn't find anything clarifying whether we can use AI artwork and I wanted to double check because it is such a new thing and I've never got a response I think it's been like a week I guess they can't give direct feedback to that but once again just like with Amazon here I think as long as you adhere to the rules of Redbubble and as long as you have commercial rights to use your AI designs then you should be fine to upload it to Redbubble. So the next platform I asked is actually displayed and they're the only marketplace where I got a decent response that actually answered my questions. Thanks for your message we do not limit the use of AI generated designs on our marketplace they are treated exactly the same as any other artwork uploaded by the registered artists however please keep in mind that the art needs to conform to our technical requirements and by that they just mean have the right dimensions and the right quality to make sure that they actually look good once printed on a display. which um, if you're new to display, if you've never heard of it, I will make a tutorial fairly soon about how to uh, get started on display and how to sell your art on there. But that's definitely cool to hear that you can use AI artwork for display because that's kind of what sells quite well on there is like really, really creative photographic images. So that's definitely cool that they gave this response. And in terms of the other marketplaces I emailed, I mean, I'll put the screenshots up on screen, but they were all quite vague answers. Unfortunately, Spreadshirt, they can't offer any pre-checks and basically just said upload your design if it gets rejected from Spreadshirt then you're not allowed to sell it and I have uploaded some AI artwork to the platform and it went through so I don't think that there's a massive problem there then we also had TeePublic so I did email TeePublic they once again said you just have to adhere to our copyright and trademark rules to a content policy so uh, TeePublic same thing they're not specifying that you're not allowed to use AI artwork but it has to conform to their rules and regulations that's it in terms of print on demand marketplaces i asked a few more but i didn't always get a response unfortunately so if you're still uncertain about where you're uploading then i would 
just recommend shooting them an email. And now the other question is, which ad generator are you actually using? And does that one offer commercial licenses? So first of all, Mid Journey, that's probably the one that's most popular right now due to the insane quality. And if you look into Mid Journey's terms and conditions, they state that with the free version, you're not allowed to use the ad commercially. So the free version, I think is limited to about 25 images that you can generate per month, which isn't really a lot. Um, but those images, you, you can sell them, right? You have to subscribe to the service for at least $10 a month it is. That's the cheapest plan. And then anything you generate, you can use yourself. You, you can use other people's artwork and it has to be your own, I'm pretty sure. Now, one thing that's important to mention here is that you can't sell every piece of AI artwork that you generate. For example, let's say you tell Midjourney to generate an image of a celebrity, let's say Cristiano Ronaldo. Now, even if you have a commercial license for the Midjourney images you create, if you sell AI artwork of Cristiano Ronaldo, you're infringing on his copyright. So that you definitely can't do. Like you can't rip off brands or rip off celebrities, movies. Like you can't say Star Wars movie poster and then let the AI generate one and then sell it yourself. That's still infringing on intellectual property. So it's essentially the same as with normal artwork, whereas Yes, you can use you can use it to an extent if it's your own and you have commercial license to it, but not if it infringes on intellectual property. Another AI image generator that I had a look into is CF Spark, and in their terms and conditions, it says that on all downloads made of your own creations, the CF Spark license applies. And if you read up the CF Spark license, it says that you can create your own items to sell on print on demand websites. So that's definitely covered, and um, we don't even have to alter the designs. But it does also say that if you download someone else's creation, the all access license applies. And if you actually look through this license, it tells you that you have to alter the design. You can't use it as it is. So you'd have to change the colors. You would have to cut out certain elements. You'd have to add some text to it, you know, just make it your own. Just use it as an element of your design rather than the central focus. And the last AI image generator I had a look into is Dal E. And on their website, it basically says that you own the images that you create with a tool, including the right to reprint, sell and merchandise it. And that's regardless of whether it was generated through a free or a paid credit. So there is definitely platforms out there where you can generate images for free and then sell them, including DALL-E. Um, I think there's a few more out there. I think Night Cafe is another one where you might be able to do that. You get a few free credits there and I think you can use them commercially, those images, but I'm not 100% certain. I've not researched all of these tools, but if you're using one and you're not certain, just check the terms and conditions or email their support if it does exist. But overall, if we summarize this, you can use AI artwork on print and demand platforms as long as you still adhere to the rules and regulations, meaning you're not ripping off brands or celebrities or movies, that sort of stuff. And as long as you have a commercial license to the images that you've generated, because sometimes you have to actually pay for that license. You can't always just use whatever you, you create with these free AI tools. So I hope I was able to help you understand this topic a bit better. Now, this is by no means any legal advice. I'm, I'm not a legal expert. This is just my opinion based on the research I've done. And I do encourage you to also do your own research because these rules and these terms and conditions, they can change over time. This is all a very new topic. So it's definitely, definitely subject to change. So before you use any artwork, before you upload it, make sure to always check the terms and conditions and the content policy. And if you're interested in AI artwork, I'm going to upload a ton of videos in the next few weeks telling you how to create stickers, how to create t-shirt designs and lots of other cool stuff. So make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, I, I never ask for that, but but if you're new to the channel, if you've not subscribed yet, then I would really appreciate it. And also, if you want to learn a quick trick to increase the quality of AI designs, because they're often really pixelated, Bruh. then make sure to check out this video next, where I'll show you multiple methods of how to do that, including a really good free one.